Hello, Scorpio. How are you guys doing? Thank you for tuning in. Um, as you guys already know, this is going to be yet another general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you find that this reading does not resonate with you, that is okay. Um, do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus placement. Scorpio, I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving, um, you know, with your family and stuff, guys. If you're in the U.S., I sure did enjoy mine. <laughs> All right, so let's see what's coming towards Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please do not forget to hit the like button for me, please, Scorpio, as this does um, help us creators to get our content out there, okay? All right, so this is for Scorpio. What is coming to the Scorpio? Moon, Rising, and Venus as well. What is coming to Scorpio? Scorpio, retreat. Take some time away from the situation to get some perspective on it. Maybe this is a separation currently, okay? Um, you got romance. Gemini did pull this. You could have Gemini in your chart or maybe you're dealing with a Gemini. Romance. This is a very loving and romantic courtship that could lead to more. All right. Scorpio. What do we have? Scorpio. This is for Scorpio. Scorpio. This is coming towards Scorpio. you have deliver me from temptation Sagittarius is, did pull this you could be done with a Sagittarius ready to take control and lead struggling to overcome self-imposed limiting beliefs okay so it could definitely be somebody with a damn devil energy <laughs> Scorpio um setting clear boundaries is here maybe dealing with a Capricorn oh, I just heard that all right what is coming in towards the Scorpio and love can we done with a Virgo if you guys hear my daughter's tablet, I'm so sorry, guys. It might be a little loud. She had to stay home from daycare today. Okay. Overall energy for Scorpio and love. Five of coins, Scorpio. You're feeling out in the cold. This person's feeling out in the cold. Someone feels abandoned. Maybe someone abandoned you or you're abandoning somebody, right? <laughs> but um, maybe somebody, this is someone who did abandon you, right? With the five of coins. Someone could be going through some difficulty here, maybe financial difficulty. But either way, I just kind of feel like somebody's feeling very, uh, they're feeling lonely, Scorpio. <laughs> All right, what is coming towards Scorpio? In love, Scorpio. What is coming towards Scorpio and love, Scorpio? What is coming towards Scorpio and love, Scorpio? Ooh, I'm crying. Oh, King and the Queen of Pentacles came out together. That's interesting. Scorpio, you got the Five of Cups. Someone's definitely feeling very remorseful here. Someone's sad. Yeah, you're a sorry mother sucker, all right? <laughs> um... Why do I feel like someone wants you to reach out to them, Scorpio? Could be done with a fire sign. Hearing Leo, they want you to reach out to them. Someone's feeling very sad and lonely and abandoned and mistreated. <laughs> it could be a child's father or a child's mother. Maybe they want you to reach out to them. It could be an Aries. But I just feel like, Scorpio, someone wants to... They're trying to figure out what's going on here. Two of coins, two of wands um where you guys stand possibly right um i feel like somebody wants more here scorpio somebody wants more here um i don't know why i'm hearing something about communication maybe you haven't heard from this person so you're trying to figure out if you should just let it go or if you should reach out someone's trying to figure out what they should do about the situation but I do feel like, Scorpio, if you don't reach out, they're going to take the lead and do it. I think that's what ready to take control and lead is saying. Queen of Wands, she will get up and do it, you know? So this person may just go ahead and reach out to you, Scorpio. Because it, it shows that this person does have strong feelings for you. They still love you. Okay. It's very interesting. Yeah, it could definitely be an Emperor, which is an Aries. Ready to take control and lead. Being the bigger person reaching out yeah i feel like this person wants to um they want to get together scorpio three of cups they may want to see you travel to see you they may ask you on a date okay 
I don't know. You may be dealing with someone who, you know, expected you to reach out. But maybe you're tired of reaching out to this person. You want this person to, you know, step up a little bit. I don't know what delivery of temptation is about. Um, hmm. For some of you, I feel like someone wants to know where you guys stand. Because the two of coins and two of wands is like, okay, what, what are we doing here? You know, where are we going to take this? What is the five of cups for Scorpio? Six of swords. So this person's trying to figure out if they should move on or not, Scorpio. There's a whole lot of twos. All right, so some of you could be seeing two, two, two a lot. If you're trying to figure out if you should reach out to this person, you should. It does show that there's still love here, Scorpio. Okay? But maybe you're just tired of this person not knowing what they want to do with this connection. Maybe you put the ball in this person's court. What is the Queen of Wands for Scorpio and love? Sun could be dealing with a Leo, Ten of Cups, and a Nine of Swords. So, Scorpio, whoever this person is, they feel like you're their ultimate happiness. And they see the big picture with you. But there's maybe someone's just in their head. Like, should I reach out to Scorpio? Should I not? <laughs> Two of Wands for Scorpio. I feel like this is someone who's just kind of, they're in their head a lot. Temperance. So they're trying to figure out if they should give you time, if they should wait. But they want to, I feel like this is someone, this is someone who wants to um, reconnect with you. Death reverse for Scorpio. They don't want this to end. They really don't want this to be over, Scorpio. The tower, the five of wands, they don't want it to be over. Hi, mommy. Hi, baby. Mommy's not done. Okay, go sit down. No, go sit down. All right. Two of Cups for Scorpio. Two of Cups. Six of Coins. So this person feels like you're not going to give them another chance, Scorpio, or they just feel like they're not getting anything out of you. They don't know if the love is requited. They don't know if you feel the same way. I just get, like, this is someone who... I don't know. Is it a communication problem? Someone just doesn't know, like, if the other person feels the same way about them anymore or if there is even feelings here to begin with. It's kind of what I feel. So whoever the hell this person is, Scorpio, I feel like if you don't say anything, they are going to take the lead here and they're going to reach out. That's what I feel, okay? Maybe they've been waiting for you to do it. But you will just go ahead and re reach out. I'm sorry. Or they will just go ahead and reach out. The moon. Yeah, I just feel like you're confused. You're confused. Someone's confused here. It could be a Pisces. They just don't know what the hell's going on with this connection. The moon, the three of wands. There's a lot of waiting going on. Um, If it is third party, that could be what, what the holdup is for some of you. But, hmm. Someone's kind of taking their time. Knight of Coins. Maybe this is someone who just doesn't know what they want just yet. It could be what it is. I just feel like this person, they want to come back. They want to confront you. They want to talk. Maybe this is your energy too. You want to talk. But you feel like this person's ignoring you or... I don't know. It's almost like you're not getting the answers you need from this person. You're very confused. All right, so for some of you, you could be dating this person. They do find you attractive. They like your personality. They're very attracted to you. They do feel a strong connection with you. This could be your soulmate, two of cups. But it's almost like this could be someone who maybe they struggle with expressing their feelings with the page of cups reverse. This may be someone who's just not sure um, about, you know, furthering things right now. Maybe they're still healing from something, a breakup, a separation. But this is someone who wants to know where you guys stand, Scorpio. That's just what I feel. Where do we stand? What's going on? <clears throat> do I have a freaking chance? <sighs> Scorpio, what does Scorpio's person want to tell them? What is going on here? It's almost like there's mixed signals. 
I think of you 24-7. <clears throat> I don't want anyone else. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Ooh. They feel like you're the sexiest woman or man. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? Scorpio's person. What do they want to tell them? Scorpio's person. What does Scorpio's person want to tell them? Yeah, so I think that's what retreat is about. Someone's trying to figure out what exactly they want. I'm using you for sex. Maybe someone feels like there's just purely attraction here, lust, but there's no real emotional, like, maybe you feel like this person's not really opening up to you emotionally. That could be what it is. It could be what it is. That's really weird. I just want to be friends. I pleasure myself to your pictures. So, I mean, are you telling me that although this person feels this connection with you, they may not be ready to take it to another level. Or you're not ready to take it to another level. It's kind of what I feel. Because there's some hesitation here. You may be dealing with someone who's kind of still immature. They still have some growing up to do, Scorpio. What else does this person want to say to Scorpio? Maybe this is someone who still wants to play the field. You see? Yeah. Someone had a recent breakup or a divorce. That could be why they're not really ready yet. But, I mean, they love you. They have these feelings. They see the big picture with you. We're twin flames. Hmm. I mean, but you can expect that there's definitely going to be some communication. I love you. And I can't make up my mind. But I love you. Wow. <laughs> I love you, but I can't make up my mind. That's very interesting. So, guys, um, I guess let me know what the what the hell is going on here because, I mean, the love can't be denied in this situation. But someone just feels like they're not getting anything out of you or you feel like you're not getting anything out of this person, and that could be why. Maybe right now they just, they're still healing, so they, they, they... They just want to be friends right now. It's not that they don't have feelings for you. They do. But this is someone who's stuck at the crossroads right now. And you're feeling very confused. There's a lot of confusion here. Okay. Well, let's ask this. What, what action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? What action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? The Nine of Wands. So maybe this person's previous relationships have kind of left this person feeling a little wounded. They built a wall up between you guys. I feel like someone's afraid to approach you as well. Hmm. What action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? What action is this person going to take towards Scorpio? Hmm. person's gonna continue you may be de definitely be dealing with a fire sign this person's gonna continue to want you to pursue you i don't think this person's really gonna give up scorpio it could be you that's feeling this way but if it is the other way around i, I see this person having you know a lot of passion for you but at the same time there's still there's still a whole lot of fear here unfortunately that's just what it looks like okay anyway um, but they want to hear from you. They, they hope that you reach out or some crap like that. But if not, they will reach out and they will try to set up a date or see you at least. Anyway, love you guys. See you guys next time.